up YouTube, Mark, World's Okayest Farmer here. Um, hope it's not too windy in the video. What I'm doing today, I'm actually, I just got off work, but I'm in good shape, so I'm trying to get a little bit of stuff done in the mornings. I finally got some guys working for me in my business, so it frees up some time for me to do things that I need to do around the property. Just waiting on that wind. So, I got this purchase last year, uh, right around April, so it was time to plant. I didn't have time to plow, I just no-tilled. Did pretty good. We had a lot of compaction from the logging and everything, so I definitely want to break up the soil this year, everything in the field. I got another field down the road that I'm doing, you guys will see that. But I got this five shank Glencoe chisel plow soil saver and I'm just trying to figure it out so it's I got it from that same place as the disc it was the chalkers I think it's called chalkers auction in Ohio and they delivered both pieces together this has been sitting since it's been delivered um, it looks nice but it pretty much I mean it looks it's in good shape all the discs spin, spin freely there's not very many grease points on here though that I saw. A couple on the, where it pivots, raising and lowering, and uh, and then on the, the jack screw up here, which is what I'm adjusting now. I got this all hooked up yesterday and had to mess around with it some. The hydraulic hoses, for whatever reason, I don't know if it wasn't hooked up to a tractor and they needed to bleed it down. I guess they were just loose. And uh, whenever I hit the hydraulics, it blew one of the hydraulic hoses off, but it just needed to be threaded in and tightened up. We got it all hooked up. Of course, it looks decent, but they gave it the Sherwin Williams overhaul. So whenever that whenever that happens, usually it's just a little scary, like what you're gonna find. But overall, I don't see any cracks or welds. Um, pretty decent unit. But I did a quick, I had to go to work yesterday and I, by the time we got this all hooked up and ready to go, or so what I thought was ready to go, I, uh, I went over and just did a quick pass to see how it worked and it was tipped way too far forward. So I don't know, I don't have any manuals, I've never used a chisel plow like this, but from what I've seen in the videos, most of them seem to be level. So what I'm doing, I got grease in the jack screw and everything I'm gonna fire up the tractor I was just checking the fluids and all that but I'm gonna raise it up in the air so it's easier to adjust this front yoke and I'm gonna push it farther back so the front's down I need to get the back down and we'll see how it goes uh, I've seen these things in action in the past and they seem to do a good job this is a hundred horsepower tractor so it shouldn't have any issues with this five shank. I don't think I'd want to go any bigger uh, with this size tractor, but it should be a good match and we'll see how it goes. Oh, if you're wondering, I got this for 3,500 bucks. I felt like that was a good deal. Most of the people around here, I don't, everything that you can pull with a smaller tractor costs more than the bigger stuff does because more people are able to pull it so it's crazy you can get a five shank costs more than a seven shank or or even bigger than that but this was most everybody wants five thousand dollars for their five shank it could be a, looking like it needs to go to the junkyard they still want five thousand dollars for it so Scott from Irish Town Acres channel found this because he's always looking at equipment, told me about it, so I ordered it for 3,500 bucks. Not bad. So we'll see how it does here. It's working real well now that I made that adjustment. I'm liking it. Um, but I noticed all, before I lose them, all the disc cleaners, the row cleaners, none of them had nuts on the backside. So I'm gonna run to the hardware store and get new hardware to put in here new bolts new bolts new nuts because it's not working as well you can see here those discs are plugging up 
So I need to get those road cleaners in there to prevent that from happening because they're not cutting the material well with without them being individual blades all plugged up like that. Love buying used equipment. I mean, look at this. Somebody just half-ass ran that on there. have to spray it down and see if I can get anything on that but you can see look how plugged up those are I got to get those row cleaners on now uh, this bolt no not this bolt no not love buying used equipment but it's working pretty good and if it just needs a few nuts and a little love I'm fine with that so Here's a look at what we, two passes here, all the way across the field. It's working up pretty nice. It'll dry out nice. I think that's a big rock right here. I think we're gonna have lots of rocks come up that I'm gonna have to pick up. Oh yeah, happy with it. I wanna get the, I like to get this field, I'd like to get all of it done. I got this field and then just down the road about, uh, you can almost see it from here. I have, uh, another 10 to 15 acres and three small fields so i'm gonna do a little extra keep expanding i'd like to get some of the neighbors but they don't want to give it up that one off to the right up there is there's probably 55 acres of field over there but they have it all in a government program said it pays more than a farm lease does
working the ground up pretty good. I think we got it dialed in for the most part on a couple of the hills, pulling the hill, plowing. Uh, I have to raise the plow a little bit, so it's using all the horsepower that tractor has to offer. So I'm glad I didn't go with a, sh a seven shank. Uh, it'll take a little bit longer with this five shank, but it's a pretty good match for that tractor and uh, it's doing a pretty good job. There's a pretty nice size rock it uncovered right there. I'm sure we're going to have a bunch of them, but it's supposed to be nice the next day or two. So I'm hoping to get this field done probably tomorrow. I, this was just a trial run, getting it set. I had to put new hardware in the row cleaners on the discs, on the cutting discs. Um, they, there were no nuts on them, so just spent $38 in hardware, put uh, all grade 8 uh, hardware in those. One's missing, so I'm going to try to order one tonight, get that on there. But I like it, it's working pretty good. I see one other thing, I got to put a couple cotter pins in two things, but always something, you got to look them over because they're always missing things for some reason, but uh that's four passes there four passes for me is about one pass for uh for a bigger operation but uh luckily this is all i have to do is this field and uh a couple down the road so it'll keep me busy and uh i enjoy it i love this time of year everything's still dead the weather's nice it's perfect all right this is just the uh, tuning in the um, chisel plow, getting things set up, doing a trial run. Tomorrow we'll fly the drone and get some better shots and angles of uh, chiseling the whole field. All right, have a good one.